proceed, cause this is what you need. Hey, what is up, Dewey's Kids? Um, Dewey's Kid 2911 here. <laughs> I kinda messed up again on my intro. Anyway, we're back to some more Sonic Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii, and yeah, let's go check out the Secret Shine, uh, Shrine, which we did find out about in the last episode. There's something I forgot to tell you. I came across this when we, when I was walking up, so I decided to pick it up. Okay, I messed that up, and... It looks like some kind of metal or something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna... Wow, volume, you wanna stop? Thank you. I swear, like, the audio glitch in this game is, like, so jacked up. But I, I didn't get to show you guys the little tablet thing, but... It's alright. This place is kinda spooky, huh, Sonic? If it was just me, I'd be too scared to go in. Seriously, did I need to know that? Do you really need to stop me to tell me that? That door's glowing, Sonic. Maybe that means it'll open now. Come on, let me explain it in my let's play. Anyway, these this is the temple right here. This is basically like a hub world to go to your levels and stuff in the game. And basically, in here, you basically go through the temple doors. And that's how you um, access your next levels and stuff like that. So here we go, on to day stages, finally. If there's anything I like more in this game, it's the day stages, like, just, I, I like the Werehog, but they can get kinda overdone most of the time, and the combat is nice, especially with the classic controller, but I still prefer the day stages, because the speed is where I'm at, and I feel like it's going, like, lower than what it's supposed to. Of course, I don't have a boost right now, so can't really. Oh yes! Right now, here we go. This is where I get started. I love the music here. Oh, oh, oh my! I should probably get that item for you guys. Um, yeah, not the best idea since this is all about speed. No, okay. Yeah, the. The higher you go, I guess, like, it's more shortcuts and more rings and stuff, but apparently Sonic doesn't like me like that. Anyway, let's... Oh, oh my gosh. As soon as I said I was... I liked the day stages, um... I suck all of a sudden. Let's go. So, in this game, they... Um, kind of show you something called quick time events where you had to click um, buttons in a certain chain in order to progress and with this remote control it won't work out for me because I'm so used to the Xbox con like configure it right here A B A okay so I got it now because I was thinking Nintendo but if you're not thinking Nintendo and you have like the emulator controller um, you're screwed okay good my boost lasted long enough I just love this. It's going so fast, and it's just so luscious. Uh, if I had a better computer, I would play this on better um, graphics, but I don't have that nice of a computer. I'm lucky I'm even running this this good. Drift! Drift! Okay, I missed it. Whatever. We'll go this way. I still gotta make that time. I, I, I got It's all about speed in this game, and I go past the little trick thing and just boost all the way over here. That's nice. Am I turning? No. Missed another one, but it's like in clear sight. There, some of them are hard to find, but that's mostly in the Werehog levels. This is where it's not really important. Oh, I should boost right there, and of course I mistimed it. Anyway, let's just go. I usually get S ranks on this, but recording. It's what every time I record, I, I suck even more than I usually do. I do have to say, I'm kinda liking the drift in this game. It's not the best drift, but 
it, it does what it do for the Wii. It does what it do, okay. That makes sense. And oh my gosh, is this the extra long sequence? How am I supposed to get an S rank with this dude? Uh, so here we go. Yeah, I don't know what his exact name, but he's gonna try to knock us out. And we gotta use quick steps to avoid him. Chip, I'm the let's player here, not you. Jeez. Not, not much going on here, because uh, no excitement. He takes forever to attack, because this is like the Wii version. And of course, everything in the Wii version has to be easy. Okay, so as soon as things flip around, you gotta boost into him. And the more you boost, the more damage you can do. And, come on, can I get him a third time? Okay, no, I can't. Man, I'm out of boost. Yippee. Okay, so we have about 40 seconds left, or 30, I don't know. Oh, crap! Okay, good, good, good. I, I quick step into his little hand. Come on, give me the ring. Give me the ring. There we go, there we go. Come on, get him! One more. Oh, crap, I couldn't do it. Okay, we're approaching the next area. Come on, I gotta do this. I messed up way too much in this video, and now I'm not gonna get a good rank if I don't do this. Well, an A is okay, but I want an S. Okay, here we go. I gotta get this done. Okay, let's go. We're out of boost. And this is the thing about this game. If you don't have boost, like, you're not going anywhere. And come on! I swear, if I make this, I'm gonna be so happy. Four, three, two, one! Yeah! I did it! So, yeah, it's not hard whatsoever in this game to get an S rank if I can do it that easy. Ah, there we go. Wasn't too bad. And since we got an S rank, we got three moon medals. Okay, so let's go on to the next stage. We got an illustration and a document. Those are just extra things. You don't need to get them to progress in the game, but it would be nice to. Just to see what I got, probably at the end of this Let's Play. And what do we have here? Oh yeah, that's another thing about this version. There's too much side missions that you have to do. Like, you're not like... You don't... It's like not... Not, not even... You don't even have an option. You just have to do it. That's the way they want you to. And you, and this mission, this one has to collect a hundred rings. Yippee. And then, lucky for us, that's not too hard. Because you got all your quick stepping done, and I mean, uh, your quick time events down. You should be good. Keep boosting as soon as you get it. And stay alert, and you should be getting it in no time. Okay, can I do it? Oh no, no, I messed up. I almost had it, and wow, wow, major lag. Okay. Game, you're running good, okay. Okay, yeah, we're done. We got one moon medal for that. So every side mission you complete, whether it's Werehog or... If you are doing it, doing it with um, Daytime Sonic, you'll be getting that moon medal. And... Yeah. With the Werehog, you'll be getting sun medals. And what the heck? Why is it lagging out so bad? Okay. Hmm. Okay, here Still we go. No luck finding anyone who knows me. Don't worry about it. Maybe your memory will come back on its own. Remember anything yet? Mm, nope. Oh well. Monster guy is back. So when the sun goes down, I turn into this? Are you okay, Sonic? I'm fine. I just need to be careful who sees me like this. Sonic, 
Sonic, look! What is it? Oh, it's hopeless! <laughs> the whole planet is split apart! We're doomed! <laughs> Jeez, Ben, you pull yourself together. Hey, mister! Hey, don't cry. Uh, ice cream. How about some more of this super tasty stuff? What good is ice cream at a time like this? <laughs> Sonic, your arm just stretched. Audio, what the heck? But it could be useful. <laughs> well, obviously, this guy is something wrong with him. So, let's go asking around, I guess. No one's here, Sonic. Let's head back. Okay, Flower Street. Ice Cream Man's acting weird. Speaking of weird, what happened to you? Hey Pilgrim, what's the matter? You look shorter and stout. Did you eat something? Why why does he keep calling us Pig Pilgrim? What the heck? Hmm, don't believe we met. Not late. We so we met afternoon, holy shrine. Unusual guest. Eric. Okay, so now I have to go see Mr. Eric, which I just was here. Saw a yellow fox and I I think he's more orange than yellow, but that's up to uh, the developers that want to portray Tails. Whatever, do it your way. Okay. Gonna keep staring at Chip or gonna tell us something? Back to nice guy Sonic again. This light's so warm. It kind of feels like the afternoon sun. Do you think your transforming's got something to do with the sun, Sonic? I don't know. So you're telling me that our transformation to Werehog has to do with how hot or cold we are. Not the sun or not night or day, but how warm or cold we are. Okay. Game, you just ruined yourself. Maybe that means it'll open now. The warehouse based on temperature, not night or day. I just noticed that. That that's weird. Hey, you're looking all scary again. Don't you get tired of switching all the time? Dude, do you ever get tired of talking? That's what I would like to know. Okay, on to the warehog. God diggity. Let's get this over with. If you press the B button to jump, then press the B button again in the air, you'll do a double jump. Oh, I hate the Werehog levels. Anyway, yeah, this is it. Werehog. Not the full thing, but we're, we'll the get into it more. In the same direction twice to do a dash. Or a directional pad, whatever. Anyway, yeah, if you really want to see what the Werehog should be, and I believe it's supposed to be, go check out Night of the Werehog, like an E3 movie that they played a long time ago when this game didn't release about 2008. Yeah, that's what the Werehog should be. Something like that. Not this crap. I just can't get... I'm tired of this. Yeah, so see, we got an order to Sun Metal for doing a Werehog stage, and you'll have more of these. I think like you get 147, you only get like moon metals, you only get 71. It's like really crazy. There's a lot of werehog. Like for real, like I thought I, I was trying to like be nice with the werehog in this let's play, but it if seems it like the werehog deserves to be like this. More in the HD version because oh you'll get tired of him fast. But in the Wii version he's not that bad but still like I don't wanna play as him. If I wanted to do combat, I would play like, I don't know, Street Fighter, something like that, but not, not Sonic. Stick to your speed section, Sonic. Lead the combat to like, I don't know, someone else is good at it. Anyway, so we climb up this hole and... Yes, this is what Werehog is mostly going to be. Platforming and climbing poles. 
And not to mention the levels are extremely long. Alternate the Y button and the X button presses to attack. That's a lot of bad guys, Sonic. There's nothing there. Okay, back. So this is what he's talking about combat. Right here. It gets better later in the game because you can get upgrades to um, increase your combos and strength and stuff. But at the beginning, it's basically going to be left and right, left and right. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not lying, that, that's it. That's all you're going to be doing for like the first part of the game. And this is why I feel like the game takes forever to actually get started. Because the Werehog, you have so much Werehog levels to start out with in like only like five Sonic stages. I, I'm all the way in like, um, I'm, I finished Halaska and I'm done with like, I'm almost trying to like, I'm working on Spagonia right now. And like, still, I'm still like tired of the game already because of Werehog, and I've only played five levels. Okay, pause, pause, no, we're, okay, so we're back, we're back. I swear, I had to stop this game's recording and start it so many times. To just like the lag and the annoyances from my family, it's like crazy. Anyway, so the barriers are gone, and yeah. So basically, that tutorial just showing that you you can throw um objects around the area that you're in to destroy your enemies, and the boxes are your friend. Not the barrels, not 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 balls, but boxes. Boxes are truly your friends. That's nice, Sonic. If you press the A button, you'll do a soup. Okay, A button. I'll just even super duper. I can make those guys off faster than my X and Y attack. I I rarely use that move. Like after, especially after I get upgraded, I barely use that. Only like when I get really upgraded. And I think now we're going to a real Werehog station. Let's see. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Yes, yes. What everyone wants to see. Okay. So oh, uh, there's something back here. Oh my gosh. Never even found this on my own time. That's nice. And you have a map, and I never look at it. So that's why I probably never would find that. Isn't that nice? So, rings basically, um, heal you up again. Almost like in Super Mario 64 where you have coins to heal you up. So yeah, that, those are your ways of getting health, and that's how you recover. But I just, I don't, I barely get hurt, so I'm just gonna collect them just because, because they also add to your score. And score is nice. And with Werehog, it's mostly about speed. Because... But, yeah, they expect you, like, on one level, they expect you to finish the level within nine minutes, so you can probably just get an idea of how long these levels can probably get, and how tedious they can. Especially since the battle music is completely the same. What I like to do, I just like jumping in the air and doing that. I feel like it finishes them off, them off faster, and they lose more health. And plus, when they're on the ground, you can just knock them down again, see? kind of cruel, especially since those animals are like, so cute. They're so cute, but not really, no. They're, they're demons, and they should die. They deserve to. I am an experiment. Eggman did this to me, and now I'm gonna be mad. Oh my gosh! What's this, Sonic? Okay, no, I'm seriously getting tired of you, Chip. You're like, you need to die. What the heck, game? See, okay, okay, Chip, I love you. Chip, I love you. Stop, game. Okay, the game won't stop. This is just like a graphical glitch. It's gonna be like this, and not most levels. It's weird, when I record, it does this, but when I play on my own time, it's, um, perfectly fine. 
The only thing I experience on my own time is lag, but that's because I like watch YouTube videos while playing this game, because not to beat the game, because this game is not hard whatsoever. I watch other YouTube videos like um, Mr. Apex's joke. I watch lots of other ones, I guess. But yeah, I spend most of my time on YouTube. To tell you the truth, I don't even watch TV, because TV just becomes utterly crap over the years, and oh, I missed an item down here. Yeah. Like, Cartoon Network, like, used to be the best, and then I went to Nickelodeon, and then once that got crap, I never liked Disney. And oh my gosh, I'm okay, still here, I have no idea why. It's not that bad, but it's kind of here. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I never liked TV. There's something about it. And like, especially now, I don't even watch it. It's like so lame now. Oh my! Get away from me, you penetrators! That's right. Oh yeah, and they'll like try to bounce their balls on you. They're like Pokemon trainers. It's gonna try to catch me. Game glitches out. Wait, the dolphin emulator. I, I don't like, I don't enjoy playing emulators, it's just that something I have to do because I don't have the money or n causes for like an HD PVR, and I know they come cheap, but I just feel like if I can do it on an emulator, and plus I don't actually own this game any longer because I traded it in to get something better, and oh my, it's still here, and I can't do anything about it. I guess we'll have to finish the level, I guess, or... Yeah, okay, so I fixed it. I just had to pause it for like a long time, but yeah, that was... That's the most amount of audio issues I've ever had while playing on the Dolphin Emulator. I have no idea why when I record, it's like, all hell breaks loose just for me. I don't I feel special. Not really. Okay. Yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this, I guess I really haven't explained it much. It's just that- OH MY! This is actually kinda cool. Not really. It sounds like police officers, though. And it stops. Hey, wow. now we can get is this a sign? Should I not do this Let's Play? Dark guy is trying to stop me from let's playing. Never. I even do this for the subscribers. I do this for fun. So what? What am I doing, game? Like literally, like you got something against me, game? I did. I have done nothing. Get in my fist. Wow, you can't even stay on the ground. You want some of this? Mom said last night, boy. I think there's some more. There's not. I remember more when I played by my when I played by myself, but let's finish this level already. I'm getting tired of Werehog and all the graphical not graphical but audio glitches. And it was so good for like my dolphin test and everything. It, it only like messed up once. Anyway, yeah, see, look at that. The estimated time was six minutes. Why the heck does the stage have to be that long? The only reason why it should be that long is if you're confused or like mentally retarded. Like, I have no idea why they thought that would be a nice idea to even have a stage that long. Especially since this Sonic game. They're known for short stages, or at least mildly not. Like 500 minute long stages. If you want a long stage, you should go play Eggman Land. Jeez. Anyway, like I said, a lot of Werehog. Grr. So. Let's get on with this. There's no knob on this door. No dip. And yeah, we just unlocked a new move. I forgot what it was called, but basically when you're dashing, you can press the attack button and he'll do like a little. X scissors thing, a Pokemon move. There we go. And what you can do with this is dizzy them. You can pick them up. And okay, so you can't pick them up. Apparently, could I mess that up? Let's do this. You want to die? Okay, you pick them up and you dash them. There we go. And that basically takes out all their health. So it's kind of efficient, but 
it, it doesn't always work because like you just saw right there, they kind of can get you when you're not paying attention. And jeez, like, why do we need this long road of just nothing but boxes to break? Oh yeah, so I can battle these, the worst enemies in this game! Most annoying too! Because they're so tiny and small, unless you hit them right away like I just did, they're gonna keep flying around and like attack you like what? Oh my gosh, Chip. Sonic, I think if you dashed here, you'd be able to jump. Yeah, this is nice if I was like mentally retarded. No offense to you other ones who might be. I know that's a medical term, but Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to go there. I should probably I take that back. I take it back. Please forgive me. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, I should probably stop talking. I talk too much. Probably why, that's why I started Let's Play because I talk way too much. I don't. I talk to my games especially. I don't know why I, people talk during the games. I don't know why I do. But, like, people talk to the games, and I'm like, whoa, bro, what are you doing? Talking to your game? Like, you just, you, you sing to it, you talk to it, and then, like, you lullaby it to sleep. Well, I don't do that. I, 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 not at least, I, I don't think I did. Maybe I used to. When I was little. I did some crazy stuff when I was little. Mm-hmm. Uh. This is gonna get so tedious. I feel like the next few episodes are just gonna be Werehog. Werehog and more Werehog, like for real, like there's no stop to the Werehog, and yeah, 